So this project has resulted from our research in the field of user innovation, in particular in the field of patient innovation, and the idea that patients have a role in developing new treatments, therapies, and medical devices. When we start analyzing the sort of innovation that patients were able to do, we were really impressed with the amount of patients of chronic diseases that had developed important solutions for themselves that in fact help themselves and help many others. So we thought that if we could come up with a platform for people to be able to share solutions that they had developed with the objective of using in the very first place, others could eventually benefit from those solutions as well. You know, think about rare diseases. These are diseases that are individually rare, which means that pharmaceutical scientists don't have a strong incentive to develop solutions for these rare diseases. There are, diseases, there are diseases that have 20 patients in Portugal. So obviously there's no market that will justify investments in some of these diseases. So it makes sense that patients that actually develop some solutions, sometimes very simple solutions, other times very sophisticated solutions, can have a forum, can have a place for them to share these solutions and benefit from solutions that were developed by others that eventually could help themselves. So that's what we try to do when we put together this platform, the so-called patient innovation platform, to facilitate sharing of solutions, to facilitate collaboration among patients, among caregivers, but also among people that have nothing to do with healthcare. So we are really happy with the fact that now patients, caregivers, other people that have nothing to do with healthcare or that don't suffer from any disease are joining the platform, are starting to share solutions because we really believe that you know, this sort of platform can be a game changer in the healthcare industry. So when we saw this sort of results, we thought, you know, there's something here missing, which is a way to facilitate the sharing of information among patients of chronic diseases that are in different parts of the globe that could eventually benefit if some sharing was done. So when we start talking about this, about the idea of developing a platform with the objective of facilitating sharing, we decided that we could actually develop a platform to facilitate sharing of solutions and that this platform should be open, should be international, should be multilingual, should be free, so that we could bring to the same place patients from any disease, from any geographical location, to share or to benefit from solutions that were shared by others. So we did that and then we were really happy with the fact that Patients associations from the five continents, very distinguished individuals were all supporting our initiative. And we are very happy with what is happening now, where we see the platform growing, patients joining, patients sharing for you know, the good of everyone that will benefit from these solutions. Uh, we have a, a screening process in our uh, patient innovation platform. Uh, the screening process is not intended to do any medical validation. What we want with this screening is to avoid bad language and to avoid also dangerous drugs or substances, inappropriate language, and it's only for the safety of the, uh, the patient. 